Hello, this is Gihan Pereira. Are you creating the space for change and innovation in your team? I've been doing a lot of work with leaders recently about building their AI capability because, of course, many leaders and teams recognize that AI is a big change out there in the world and they need to start using it and leveraging it. And AI is not the only change, of course, that's happening in the world. There are a lot of other changes happening and many people are feeling that in their, in their professional role and their personal role as well. And there are many leaders who want their team to change and maybe even want them to change faster, but they're might be getting in the way because if you don't create the space for your people to be able to change then it's very difficult for them to do that it's like they're running down this narrow tunnel and they're running as fast as they can and you're yelling at them to change direction but they really can't because they're constrained they're stuck it's very difficult difficult uh, for them to move in any direction all they can do is keep running as fast as they can in the direction they were running. And maybe they need to change, but you haven't given them the space to do that. So how do you do that? How do you create space for change and innovation, whether it's to do with AI or something else that's happening in your, in your organization, in your industry and in the world? Well, there are three parts to creating space. It's about permission giving them permission to change and giving them a focus for their change and then giving them time to change. So those three things, permission, focus and time, are things that go together for you to create space for change in your team. Those are the broad categories and there's some specific things that you can do within each of them. Download my worksheet here and you'll get 15 ideas in those three categories about permission, focus and time and 15 things that you can do, very simple things that you can do to give people more space to change. You won't use all 15 of them, but there'll be enough there that you might find two or three that you can start using immediately to give people a little bit more space so that they can be, if they're open to change, they can actually make that change. They can change direction without bumping in, into obstacles. Download the worksheet and I hope you get value from it. And if you'd like to, uh, me to help you build that culture of change in your team, especially in this fast changing world, I'd love to have a chat. I'll see you in the future.